Hi everybody, I am still in New York City and I just ordered Korean food. It just got delivered. I have some amazing dishes right in front of me right now. It looks so amazing. So this is a rebaki, a cheese, some black bean noodles. Ooh, I almost, wow, I spilled it all over the table. These cheesy kimchi uh, balls and some gyoza with vegetable gyoza. I am so hungry, so I'm just gonna have to start with these because these look amazing. I am just so excited to try these cheese balls. I don't know what sauce that is. Uh, it's like a spicy, I guess. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. These are amazing. I don't know if I can say that if it's not focused. It's like rice and kimchi in a bowl. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Oh, wow. So, super excited. I have to have a little bit of white wine with me. Mm, it's cheap. Okay. I don't even know where to start. Okay. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and start with this the cheese rabaki. place those on. Maybe I should try to make things a little bit more aesthetic. Although I don't have a table, I mean a plate. There, that's as aesthetic as it's gonna get. This mozzarella rabaki is gonna be so amazing. I just know it. Oh my gosh. That cheese. Maybe I'll be able to get a good picture of them now. That might be good. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh my god. Cheesy that is. It's spicy too, but not too bad. Oh, there's all the ramen. Oh, it's hot. Like spicy hot. I mean, temperature hot. Not spicy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm starting to feel the kick of the spice now. <laughs> okay. 
And so, but yeah, it's a no makeup day. It's, I just kind of rolled out of bed. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I hungry for? I ordered this on one of the delivery apps. It just arrived, so perfect. So, but my girlfriend wanted to go out and go bar hopping. No, um, I don't want to go to like the seedy bars. We went to like really high end bars, and you know, it's like that would be my style anyway. Because I, I mean, a good seedy bar is fun, but it's just I guess it's just not my vibe. Nothing wrong with that, and I would never. I mean, I go to I've gone to them, but I know I just like a little bit more of a. I, don't know, I guess I just like I like live music, and I like being able to sit down at a nice bar and relax and drink like higher quality alcohol because sometimes when it's like less expensive it gives me a headache mm. this dip is like a garlic soy I think is what they offered mmm that was good So, but anyways, we went to these like fancy bars and it was like, you know, first place we went to, we went out to eat at a French restaurant. I got some tuna tartare, super good. Um, but then like we went to the next place and all of a sudden like all these guys are always hitting on us and I'm like so flattered. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm messing. I'm gonna light it on my microphone. But then it's like hard because I don't really go out. So all these men are like trying to hug on me and touch on me. And I'm like pushing them off of me. And I get that alcohol is a factor. And we did party late in the night because, you know, we started our evening at like 930. So it's kind of late. I don't know. Uh -oh. I'm just out of the dating scene, so I don't really know like what to do, and, like what's expected. Okay, I just love these rice cakes. Mm, it's so good. The spice is making my nose run. <laughs> so, okay, but if you're single, where do you go to meet people? Now, like aren't just trying to sleep with you the whole time. I get that that's what the majority of people want to do anyway. But to be honest, like, I just don't have time to be somebody's booty call. And I have a lot of ambition and goals. And not that these people don't, but I don't need to just go hook up with some rando. So, um, I have so much fun. But it has been so long since I've been out and done something like that, so... Like, it's not normal where people are always like, oh, come sit with me. <laughs> sit on my lap. Ew. Like, don't touch me. But my girlfriend was having a great time, so I guess, like, and I was having too. It was fun. And after our French restaurant, we never paid for a drink again. I probably drank a bottle's worth of champagne on my own. Throughout the whole night, that is, though. So. But today I'm just tired. Kind of feeling it. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so how do you meet people when you're dating? I don't know. Boring story. Yeah. That is so good. I don't know what these are. Is this a fish cake? Like, I don't know. Somebody in the comments, tell me what these squares are. It tastes good, but... I don't, like, don't even know what I'm eating. Oh, yeah, that's a good bite. I wish I could, like, get the bites that, like, that string and, like, into the bowl.
Time to try the black bean now. My chopsticks. Mm. Can you guys hear that? It's like so shiny and gooey. I have never tried black bean noodles before. I'm an adventurous eater, but I, just, I guess I just never eat different things. Oh my gosh. Look how amazing these look. Anyway, you're gonna see my first bite and reaction. Wow. Okay, this was a good choice, I think. It looks so good and shiny and like moist. Nothing worse than a dry noodle. Trying up all those vegetables. Maybe that's my thumbnail. What do you think? That looks so cool. Wait, that didn't, I don't know. I need to look so make something look good. Okay. No more cheesy <laughs> thumbnails. But I will take a giant bite. Let me get up to take a giant bite because the bowl's really high. Oh. Sorry, oh, I just saw you can see my broth through the <laughs> tank top. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's good. It's like really hot temperature wise. So it's hard to like really get into. Because I want to like slurp it all up. Oh, that's hot. Let it cool down a little bit. All right, I am back. I took a little break there to let everything cool down, but I also went and got some sparkling water because I was like, just thought it would taste. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that was horrible. But it'll still be good. I thought some sparkling water would just be better. And then I got some lime or lemon zest. Trying to be flavorful with my sparkling water. Cheers. So good. It's so refreshing. Even though it exploded all over my pants and my little desk. <laughs> Horrible. Okay, so hopefully my black bean noodles are a little bit more cooled down now. <laughs> and I found the other ball. It was like over here. And there. Those rice balls are really good. Except for on like the internet, on the picture, it made it look like it was going to be really cheesy. Like Korean corn dog cheesy style. But it wasn't. So false advertising. Alright. So making sure my microphone's working. It's right here. I don't think I can see it. <clears throat> All right, I want to get lots of big juicy bites. Ew, what is that? So, I don't know how people like are eating all this ramen and they just like keep shuffling it into their mouths. I want to do that, but I can't figure it out. Oh. 
alcohol. Temperature wise. Oh, I think I know what that piece of meat was. It's like a piece of bacon. This is really good. I like feel like I read on the internet that black beans were like, black bean noodles were really spicy, but this isn't, it's kind of sweet. Um, like a refried bean, like a whole bean sauce, but yeah, like a bean taste, but kind of sweet at the same time. And like, yeah, I can't, I don't know how to describe it. So unique, I really like that. Okay. I'm make my little tower fall apart. If I grab this gyoza. so much more energy now than when my video first started probably because i hadn't eaten anything yet i was like hungover <laughs> and all this glorious food is giving me the nutrition and energy that i needed just wonderful and now i feel like i'm like oh, i'm not just dragging hungover style So good. I had seen on the internet that there's there's other rice or Korean things where it's like um, a Korean rice ball kind of like this, but in the middle of it, it has a um, hard boiled egg, but where the yolk is still kind of runny. I don't know what kind of egg that would be called, but that looks really good, and that is something I want to try. I have all these big goals of things that I want to eat for like for you guys, not for you guys, with you guys, because we're like eating right now together. I'm so good. I should not be eating all this before I go to con. I have to wear all those gala dresses and stuff. This is so good. But again, also in the picture, they made it seem like it was going to be more soupy and like ramen soup. Of a chili pepper. Oh 
Oh, my God, it's so messy. <laughs> but that bite, bite right there, that would have been, like, the kind of bite that when I ever watch other people, I'm like, they just keep, they put that big bread in their mouth, and then they just keep shoveling it in, and I'm like, how? Like, I think they're swallowing it at the same time they're, so I don't even, I don't think they're chewing it. I don't know. I don't know how they do that. Because, I don't know, I'm like you guys, and I kind of eat, just like, just eat. I need to chew my food. Mm. Okay, I have to restart my camera real quick, because I'm lame. Resets every 10 minutes for some reason. Oh my gosh, excuse me, I'm hit. Oh my goodness. So I think tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go eat some New York pizza. Obviously I need to think of like cool New York-y things to eat, but today it's been raining out and kind of gross and I was like, and I wasn't really feeling too much energy. So, I think I'll just go, do you hear all those New York honking and the horns? It's like all the time. And I'm high up right now. Oh, whatever. Um, yeah, I think New York pizza would be a good, like, thing to film. There's all these, like, infamous pizza places. And if you talk to anyone who's been in New York, Everybody has a favorite. <laughs> like my favorite is my guilty pleasure. We have these 99 cent store, or not 99 cent store, 99 cent per slice pizza places. And I love those. <laughs> There's something about that cheap cardboard pizza that I just love. I'm starting to get full. I always order too much food. I still ate like a freaking amount, a huge amount. I haven't had very much of my wine. Cheers, guys. It does not make for you. Okay, I'm starting to slow down again because now I'm getting really fappy, <laughs> like fat and happy. Very chewy. And I'm trying not to eat these squares. I don't know what they are. Oh, I think I found a big old piece of cheese, maybe. No, not really. How's that for chewing? The chewing sounds. And the lemon zest. Oh, got my arm. Oh my god.
You guys, I waste so much food. I need somebody to come eat with me. I like always over order. This costs like, I don't know, $55 or something. <laughs> but now I'm like just wasting it. Excuse me. I mean, there's some lighting changes because the outside, like I'm sitting right next to a window or in front of a window, and it's like it's raining out right now. So I think like the clouds are moving behind the sun. No, the sun's moving behind the sun. I don't. What you know what I mean? I know you do. Oh my god, Buggle. I made a couple more of these things. You guys, don't be mad that I waste all my food. Also, speaking of things that people say about my food, people keep saying in my Instagram comments that my crab legs are unseasoned. I'm like, because they are seasoned, you're watching like a one minute clip on Instagram. Like I sit there and boil my sauce, my butter, my onions and my garlic and put all this stuff into my butter concoction just because it looks bland to you. Like who are you to judge anywhere? You like at my house yeah so that's like my hater comment of the day <laughs> so i'm like really like you're gonna look at like okay so i didn't season the shrimp that was on that one bowl of my last video my, my last crap video but i just kind of like took them out and stuck them there like maybe that's what they think is unseasoned but like i wasn't cooking i was just eating plain shrimp and cocktail sauce so All my juicy noodles are kind of done. It's all just kind of stuffed now. A few noodles still. Like the bacon. Alright guys, I'm not going to eat anymore. Sorry I wasted my food. Um, yeah, thank you for watching my little stupid hungover video. But I was craving Korean, and I'm like, this would be a perfect thing just to film. So, I filmed it. So, it's not so exciting once again. I'm just feeling in the the funk of not sure what to talk about. So I want to keep it personal, or, you know, I don't want to get too personal, but I do. Well, thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe. Hit that little bell button. Leave a comment. Even if it's just like a, hey girl, what up? Um... Yeah, just thank you so much for your support, and I really am happy to be growing with you guys as a new mukbang channel, because I just kind of started off trying to figure out what to do. And I've gotten a lot of support, and I've made a pretty few good friends, and I'm really thankful for that. So, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!